All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our names, and that's going to be our source of inspiration, and we're going to be morphing the letters of our names into different objects so that the objects look like letters, the letters look like objects, but we also want all of our objects to go together. So the first thing you do when you get your piece of paper is you're going to write your name on the back. So I'm going to write my name on the back. Okay. Then you need to brainstorm and you're going to do three different columns. And each one of those columns you're going to put a header and the header is going to be the thing that you find most interesting. So for me, let's see here, it's going to be making art. And then I really like to play video games. Great way to relax. And reading. Reading slash books. All right, so there's my three my three um, categories. Now under each category you're going to list objects. They need to be objects. So making art. Now there's a lot of objects that I can list for making art. I need paint and I'm just gonna write out the list here of things that, I mean these are just a few of the things the art making, art supplies is practically an endless list but I'm just gonna do a few here. Okay, I have a little bit of space in between each one. After and only after you have made your list, in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and start stop the video here because I want everybody to start working on their list now. And I'll start the video up again after you eat, after everybody has their three categories and a good amount of objects on each one of their lists. Okay, the reason why I stopped the video, and we're going to start it up now, and most of you are uh, pretty close to having your list complete, um, is you're going to then take the letters of your name, and you're going to assign it to one category, to the objects of one category. So you can only pick one of these now. So I know you guys were thinking I was going to do the making art one, but no. I'm going to throw you off. I'm going to do the video game one. All right, so this is my my category. I'm going to put a little star by it. You can put a star by it, or you can cross these other ones out, however you want to do it. So now I'm going to start thinking about how can I change what objects lend itself well to these the shapes of these letters. So right off, the easy one is the O's are going to be my discs or CDs. So I'm just going to put O right there. And then I think, um, I think I'm going to do, <laughs> you know, the K, I can turn that into kind of a controller. So the K is going to be the controller. And I think chords. Now, see, it's easy for me to say that I want to make a lot of the different things chords, but I think I'm just going to make the S a chord. And then I'll come back and see if I need to make another thin accord. And now I'm looking at this, you know, that M is very boxy-like, so I think this is going, my monitor is going to be the M. And then the console, you know, that's kind of a rectangle, which kind of reminds me of the way my Wii is, so I think that's going to be my console. And I'm actually out of objects, which is why you probably don't want a real short list. You want a nice long list. So it would have been a lot easier for me to move over on this list, but I'm going to do a challenge. Um, so I'll do the N as a chord too, but that needs to be a different kind of chord, okay? So these need to look distinctly different. All right, so there's my list, and there are my brainstorms. Now, I can also kind of sketch out here. So this is a great place for me to kind of sketch out, okay, how is that monitor going to look? Do I want it to be an M like this or like this? I mean, I can kind of sketch. I think I'm going to have it kind of be like a boxy shape. 
Hmm. And then I'd have to have that be really little in there, but then I could kind of make that screen inside there. And maybe I'd have like some indicator lights over here. Maybe I'd have like, you know, AV1, you know, like before you turn your console on. All right, what are the, what's that S gonna look like? Maybe I'll put like some kind of plug on the end of it there. And maybe the N will be the, the three prongs there, you know, when you plug into your TV. Or maybe I'll have the S be the three prongs and that way I can plug it into the monitor since it's right next to, or into the console since it's right into that. So I was just kind of sketching this out. Let's see, how can I warp that? If I make it a big thing. You know, that kind of reminds me of that N64 controller there, or the uh, PlayStation 2 controller. I'm going to put PS2 to remind me that that kind of looks like the PS2. So again, yours is going to be different because you're not going to do video, you're not going to do necessarily the exact same thing as mine. Even if you did video games, you're going to need to make your name unique to it. All right, I'm going to flip this over and then I'm going to show you how I end up warping the letters of my name into these different objects. All right, so what I've already done is I've already kind of sketched out my ideas. Uh, that way you wouldn't have to sit through all of my erasing because there's a lot, uh, you know, whenever you're drawing, you should be erasing just about as much as you're drawing. You also want to make sure that you plan out your letters so that you don't have like your first three letters are really big and then like your last like four letters are like really small they get so small down there and you can't even read them so make sure you really plan out your letters so that each letter has its own space and that it looks like it should be there now what i'm going to do is i'm actually you can use whatever supplies um, are in your box so what we're going to do is we're going to outline in marker because it's a bright bold color and then color with all of the colors available to us in crayons so, bright, bold outlines and markers, and uh, the markers do just provide, you know, some basic colors, so it, just find the basic color that it's going to be outlined. I'm doing a blue screen because if I tried to draw in a scene from a video game, it would take too long and I probably wouldn't be satisfied. And for all the little details, marker can be great. You can do an outline and then color it in later, or you could, with just a little detail, color that in. Now what's great about marker is you can erase the lines underneath if you've drawn those pencil lines uh, very lightly. Okay, so now that I've got it all outlined in marker, I'm gonna color it in with crayons using all of the variety of colors that the crayons um, allow for. I'm also using a uh, mat. You could use uh, a mat or just a stack of newspapers to give you a nice, rich color. See, I'm able to use that silver crayon. Now, you can't neglect the background. You do need to have a background. And I'm just going to make a little room here with a window. And this is a hardwood floor or a table that the equipment's sitting on. And you can't have a white wall, so you do need to go ahead and have some wallpaper or paint the wall. I'm just going to paint it a nice beige, normal wall color. And then, um, after coloring it in, I'm all done. And that is my name morphed into objects of interest.